Hi, this is Jessica for Savvy Gardening. Today, I'd like to talk about how and when to prune boxwoods. Boxwoods are a popular shrub due to their ease of growth and their deer resistance, but they need to be pruned properly in order to maintain their growth and form. There are two ways you can prune your boxwoods. The first is a formal shearing, which results in a tidy and compact plant, but needs to be done several times a year. To shear boxwoods, you'll need a pair of long bladed hedge clippers or an electric hedge trimmer. The second method of pruning boxwoods is my favorite. It's a more casual way to prune, where the plant's natural shape is maintained and the continued growth is thick and lush. This type of pruning is known as thinning or selective pruning, and it's the type of pruning I prefer. First, start with the correct tools for pruning boxwoods. You'll want a long-handled lopper if your shrubs are large and there are branches that are difficult to reach, as well as a hand pruner that is sharp and clean. The first step in pruning boxwoods is to get rid of any dead or broken branches. From there, selective pruning or thinning is done by following an individual branch from its tip back to the point where it either merges with another branch or there is a pair of side buds present on the stem. Cut the branch back to that point, pruning off the growth. You can remove just an inch or two or prune the boxwood more heavily by cutting off up to a third of the branch's total length. Be sure to make your cut just above a pair of side buds. Those buds will go on to develop into two new branches, keeping the growth habit of the shrub dense and thick. This type of pruning takes more time and patience than simply getting out an electric hedge trimmer and shearing back your boxwoods, but it results in a more natural growth habit and a healthier plant that is less prone to diseases like boxwood blight and pests like boxwood leaf miner. Continue to follow all of the necessary stems back to the point of branching and make your cut. Here's what it looks like when I prune my own boxwoods once a season. I prune 12 to 18 inches of their growth in mid-spring, after their main flush of growth. But you can also do your pruning in the very early spring, just before new growth emerges. The only time you don't want to prune your boxwoods is in the late summer or early fall. Pruning at that time of year generates tender new growth that may not have time to harden off before cold temperatures arrive, resulting in winter dieback. Properly pruned boxwoods are happy and healthy, giving you many years of beauty for your landscape.